Welcome to the lecture series of application of derivative. In this lecture, we study about length of the tangent, subtangent, normal, and subnormal. And also, we study about angle between curves and look some look some examples. So let's move it. First of all, we look about the concept. How we we have to proceed to find the length of the tangent, subtangent, normal, and subnormal. So first we write the topic length of subtangent tangent normal and some normal then we move towards our concept here we have to find length of the subtangent tangent normal and some normal first we have to know what is the length of the tangent what is the length of the subtangent what is the length of some normal and normal so first we draw a graph of fx which looks like this and we take a point p and we draw tangent at this point this point is p and normal to this point is drawn this okay let give the name of these things this is cd this is ab and this is our function fx okay to so write down all this information here here fx is given function fx is given function and ab is tangent ab is tangent at p and cd is normal at p this information we took from this picture okay now move towards what is the subtangent length of subtangent tangent normal and subnormal so <clears throat> then we draw another picture in which we explain it in brief this is our fx same picture but we draw in other way so that we can understand it this is our coordinate system fx x axis y axis we write the name of, of these things as x x dash y y dash and this is origin now we take up take a point p and we draw normal and this is tangent oh uh, sorry this is normal and this thing is a tangent ab this is cd we extend this tangent to meet at x axis and we extend also these things where it meet to the y axis this is the our point p now we first we draw a perpendicular from this point p on this x axis which is looks like this name this perpendicular as pq then and this tangent makes some angle with these things let give this name as theta this is the perpendicular so this is 90 degree this is also 90 degree now look in the triangle uh, let give the name these things as m and this name as n then in triangle m p q this triangle is looks like this theta this thing is theta this is 90 so so this angle is 90 minus theta okay similarly we can find in these things also because we know that tangent and normal are perpendicular to each other and this is our tangent line and this is our normal line cd so total angle is this thing is 90 degree but this angle is 90 minus theta when we subtract 90 minus theta from 19 19 minus theta from 19 then we get theta so this angle is becomes theta again this angle is 90 degree and this is theta so this angle is 90 minus theta <coughs> we can find all these angle now what is the subtangent tangent how we find these things so let explain 
length of tangent we write these things is like this length of tangent is length of the line <coughs> length of the line ap p i'm sorry or uh, this whole length p from p to m is known as length of the tangent this whole length from p to n is known as length of the subnormal as uh, length of the normal length of the normal is equal to length of pn and length from m to q is known as length of the subtangent length of subtangent is length of mq and length of subnormal is length of qn okay so now we understand what is the length of the normal length of the tangent length of subnormal and length of subtangent look this picture in this picture theta is the angle made by this tangent what is this angle theta we study in tangent if a function is fx is equal to y yeah y is equal to fx then dy by dx gives the slope which is equal to tan of theta where theta is the angle made by this tangent at x axis so we can find theta so we have this value dy by dx is equal to tan theta now we are interested to find the value of pm pn mq and qn we know let the coordinate of p is x comma y then this whole then this length from o to q is x and the length and the length p to q is y let's find each value one by one first of all we find the value of tangent length of tangent length of tangent is equal to l of pm now we saw in triangle right angle triangle mpq in triangle in right angle triangle not triangle right angle triangle in a right angle triangle p m q in right angle triangle p m q p m q we have we are interested in the value of pm then we can write these things uh sin of theta is equal to pq upon pn pq upon pn or tan of theta is equal to pq upon mq and also cos of theta is equal to mq upon mq upon pm so let's move it in right angle triangle pmq let's we draw this picture because this picture is necessary p m q this is angle theta this is y so tan of we are interested in the value of pm and we know the value of pq so tan of uh, sin of theta is equal to sin of theta is equal to pq upon pm this gives out pm is equal to pq upon pq upon sin theta okay let's write this value in a box now we have to find the value of sin theta okay in this triangle we saw tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to pq upon mq and pq is y mq is unknown values so mq is equal to pq upon tan theta and theta is known then pq is y and tan theta is equal to dy by dx as we saw in this here then dy uh, tan theta we write this things as y prime now mq is known then we can find the value of sin theta <coughs> what is the value of sin theta then okay 
हाँ here we find the value of mq and we know the value of pq then the value of pm is value of pm is equal to what is the value of pm mq square plus pq square ka under root here mq is y upon y dash whole square plus pq pq is y square we solve this value then we get these things here y is equal uh, on solving y square upon y1 dash square plus y square which gives uh, when we take common y square from under root then we get y under root 1 upon y dash square plus 1 which gives y under root 1 plus y dash square upon y dash this is the value of length of the tangent so pm is equal to length of the tangent which is equal to y under root 1 plus y dash square upon y dash where y dash is equal to dy by dx now we move towards length of the normal what is the length of the normal similarly we can follow these things in triangle pqn now in triangle pqn first we draw triangle pqnh we choose other color so this thing is clear to you in triangle p q n pq is y this is 90 degree and this is 90 minus theta and this is theta okay in right angle triangle in right angle triangle pqn 1090 minus theta is 10 19 minus theta is pq upon qn because tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base so 1090 minus theta is equal to cot theta and pq is y and qn is unknown how we find the qn we don't know so let's move qn is equal to y upon cot theta here cot theta is y 1 upon tan theta and 1 upon tan theta is gives out y tan theta this is qn qn is y tan theta now qn is y tan theta uh, we know the value of tan theta qn is equal to y dy by dx this gives out length of the normal thus length of the normal is qn which is y dy by dx so now we find the length of the tangent and length of the normal then what is the what is the length of some normal and length of uh, sub tangent let's move towards our picture now pm is this is length of the tangent this is length of the normal and this length is length of the sub normal and this length is length of the sub tangent we are already calculated mq and qn let's look at the value at mq and qn here mq mq ha mq is y by y dash this is the length of sub tangent so we write this value length of sub tangent is y upon y dash where y upon dy by dx derivative of y with respect to x and we have to find length of sub normal sub normal is the length of qn and qn is y y by dx sorry here we make a mistakes actually we have to find length of the normal and length of normal is pn and pn uh, here we find only the value of qn this is the length of sub normal sub normal is y dy by dx now we have to calculate the length of the normal okay length of sub normal is y dy by dx and length of normal is 
equal to length of normal is length of this pn length of this pn is length of the normal and pn is equal to under root pq square plus qn square length of normal is pn is equal to under root pq square plus nq square pq square is what is the value of pq pq is y then we write the value as y square and value of nq is y y dash so y y dash i square now we take the value common from these things which is the y square when we take y square from under root then it comes out to be y and remains under root y y dash of square so length of normal becomes y under root 1 plus y dash of whole square so we get all this value let list down all this value here length of normal y under root 1 plus y dash square length of subnormal is equal to y y dash length of tangent is equal to y under root 1 plus y1 square upon y1 y1 in the sense y dash we can write dy by dx as y dash or y1 <coughs> we follow only one convention so we write these things as y dash and y dash it is these things okay and length of subtangent is length of subtangent is y upon y dash this value we got let's move to the overview of these things how we find this all these value first we describe this from this picture what we have to do in the when finding the value of length of the subtangent tangent normal and subnormal first we draw this picture in this picture pm is length of the tangent p pn is pn is length of the normal mq is length of the subtangent and qn is length of the subnormal here we have to find the value of these things first we write first we know that derivative of this function is gives the slope or uh, tan of the slope of the tangent at that at the given point so tan theta is becomes tan theta becomes dy by dx at given point so we write dy by dx here we write dy by dx as tan theta okay let's mark these things in a box then we have to find length of the tangent so first we take a triangle mpq here we are interested in the value of mp for mp for calculating the value of mp we need value of pq and value of mq but value of pq is already given so first we have to find mq in the known terms here we know the value of y and dy by dx which is y dx okay then by applying pythagoras theorem we can find the value of mp so first we find the value of mq then for finding the value of mq we apply tan of the theta tan of the theta becomes pq upon mq and mq on transposing this value mq uh, value of mq is y upon y dash and this mq will gives the length of the length of the subtangent this is the length of the subtangent okay in the known terms y and y dash now pm is equal to under root y upon y dash square plus y square on solving we get the length of the normal on solving we get length of the tangent now we have to find length of the normal then we take another a right angle triangle pqn in this picture pq is known and we have to find value of pn and qn in the known terms Known terms is y and y and dy by dx. This is known terms. Okay. So first we apply tan of ninety minus theta in this triangle. So tan of ninety minus theta is pq by qn. So tan ninety minus theta becomes cot theta and pq becomes y y upon qn. Then qn is y tan theta. 
So QN is y dy by dx. This is the length of the subnormal. Uh, next we move towards the finding the value of length of the normal, which is Pn. What is the value of Pn? Then for Pn, Pn is equal to under root PQ square plus QN square. So on putting this value, we get length of the normal is y under root 1 plus y dash ka square. So we write all these value here. Length of normal is y 1 plus y dash square. Length of subnormal is y is equal to, uh, length of subnormal y y dash. Length of subtangent y y da, y by y dash. Length of tangent y under root y 1 plus y dash square upon y dash. Let's move towards one example so that our concept becomes more clear about these things. First, we write the example. What we have to do? Example. Find the find the length of find the length of normal tangent subnormal subtangent subtangent sub to the curve to the curve curve x is equal to a theta plus sin theta y a 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta at theta is equal to at theta is equal to pi by 2 solution first we need to find the value of x and y and dy by dx so first we put this value to find the x and y x is equal to a theta plus sin theta when theta is equal to pi by 2 on putting this value, we get the value of x, which is x is equal to a pi by 2 plus sin pi by 2. Sin pi by 2 is equal to 1. So x is equal to a pi by 2 plus 1. This is the value of x. Now we find the value of y. y is equal to a 1 minus cos theta. When theta is equal to pi by 2, then y is equal to a 1 minus cos pi by 2 which is gives out a because cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 so y is equal to a this is the value of x and y at theta is equal to pi by 2 now we find dy by dx dy by dx is written as dy by d theta and dx by d theta as we study in previous things how these things will change so first we need to find dy by d theta then we have to calculate dx by d theta what is the value of dy by d theta so we calculate these things one by one dy by d theta here y is a 1 minus cos theta so write this value here a 1 minus cos theta by d theta we multiply a in both side we get a minus a cos theta differentiate with respect to theta which is d theta on differentiating we get this term is constant so it goes to zero and this constant comes out and remains d minus cos theta d theta we know differentiation of cos theta is minus sine theta and minus minus becomes plus so it becomes a sine theta now we have to calculate dy by dx at theta is equal to pi by 2 when so we write this things as when theta is pi by 2 then dy by d theta at pi by 2 is a sine pi by 2 which is equal to a so we get this value what is the value? y is equal to and dy by d sorry dy by dx at theta by 2 dy by dx at pi by 2 is equal to a and y is equal to let look what is the value we get y is equal to a so first we find the length of the tangent so what is the formula to find the length of the tangent L let look the formula 
length of tangent is y under root 1 plus y dash square upon y dash. Simply we have to put these things in the given formula. y under root 1 plus y dash square upon y dash. So we get <coughs> y is equal to a whole value are a. y and y dash is equal to a. So simply we have to put a a a. 1 plus a square upon a. a to a cancel out ho jayegi. Ho jayegi. So then we get the value of 1 plus a square. This is the length of the tangent. Now we have to find length of the normal. What is the length of the normal? Length of normal is, first we have to find, uh, see what is the formula to find the length of the normal. Length of normal is y under root 1 plus y dash square. So simply we write these things, y under root 1 plus y dash square, which is equal to a under root 1 plus a square. This is the length of normal. Now we find length of subtangent. Sorry for inconvenience. Uh, here we have make uh, some mistake. So here we find dy by d theta. Now we have to find dx by d theta. So we will pursue to find dy by dx. Then what is the value of dx by d theta? dx by d theta is d upon d theta a theta plus sine theta. On solving we get a d theta plus sin theta d theta a 1 plus cos theta okay now we have to calculate dy by dx so what is the value of dy by dx dy by dx is equal to a sin theta upon a 1 plus cos theta now we have to find dy by dx at pi by 2 at pi by 2 2. So at pi theta is equal to pi by 2 at theta is equal to pi by 2 dy by dx is a sin pi by 2 which is equal to a a into 1 plus cos pi by 2. So 1 plus cos pi by 2 is equal to 1 and this becomes a so a will cancel out. So it gives out dy by dx is equal to 1. Now we have to find now we get y is equal to a and dy by dx is equal to 1. Now we find length of the tangent by the given formula. Length of tangent is y under root 1 plus y dash square upon y dash which is equal to a a under root 1 plus y dash is 1 because dy by dx can be written as y dash upon 1 which gives out root 2a. Now we move towards to find the value of length of normal. To formula to find the length of normal is y under root 1 plus y dash square which is equal to a under root 1 plus 1 a root 2 which is equal to root 2a. Length of subnormal is <coughs> length of subnormal is y y dash here y dash is equal to 1 so simply putting this value we get length of subnormal is a and length of subtangent length of subtangent is formula to find these things is y upon y dash which gives out a upon 1 is equal to a so we get all these values, length of tangent and length of normal, length of subnormal, length of subtangent. This is the concept how to find length of tangent, length of normal, length of subnormal and length of subtangent. This topic is very important in point of view for J mains and J advanced. So we taught these things. Now we move towards other topic, which is find the angle between the curves. So first we First, we thought, thought about how to a concept of how to find angle between the curves. So, next topic is angle between curve. What is the angle between the curve? Angle between curve is ten, uh, angle between the tangent 
at the point of the intersection. How we find the angle between the curve? Suppose there are two curves. This is the fx. This is the gx. Now we have to find angle between the curves. Then first we have to think how we find this thing. First we find where it intersects. So first we draw tangent at fx at the given point. Let's this tangent looks like this. This graph is some tedious for you. So first we change this picture like this. Okay. This will be more easier for you. Here point is P. Then what is the tangent at point P to fx and gx. First we draw tangent at P for fx which is looks like this. Okay. And tangent at P for gx is, oh sorry, gx, tangent at, uh, for gx at point P is this line. This passes through P, some picture is different. Now we find the angle between these two tangent. This angle is actually the angle between the curves. So what is the angle between the curves? This is the angle between curve, angle between curve, curves is angle between, angle between tangent at point of intersection at point of intersection. Now we look one example. So we understand it more clearly. Our example is find the angle of intersection between the curve, find the angle of angle of intersection, find the angle of intersection between the curve between the curve y is equal to x square and y is equal to 1 minus ax square where a is equal to where a is equal to 1 by 3 okay so first we have to find point where these two curves intersect first we write this value a is equal to 1 by 3 in this so our two curve is let fx uh, we write these things in as fx is y is equal to fx ax square and gx for understanding purpose we write these things as okay y is equal to 1 minus ax square when we put a is equal to 1 by 3 then we get 1 minus x square by 3. Now we have to find where these two curves intersect each other. So we find point of intersection. Point of intersection section of these two curves. These two curves. What is the point of intersection of these two curves? Simply we write x square is equal to 1 minus x square by 3. On solving x square plus x square by 3 is equal to 1. This gives out 4x square by 3 is equal to 1. Then by simply computation we can find x square is equal to 3 by 4. x is equal to plus minus root 3 by 2. Now when x is equal to root 3 by 2 then y is equal to actually satisfy both equations. So we simply put on any one of these we get value of the y. So we put on fx. When x is equal to plus minus root 3 by 2, then y is equal to simply x square. So plus minus root 3 by 2 ka whole square is 3 by 4. Thus, thus our intersecting point is our intersecting point is point is our intersecting point is root 3 by 2 and 3 by 4 and minus root 3 by 2 3 by 4 these are our intersecting point of this two curve how these things is look like we draw roughly picture 
so we can analyze what things is going on this thing y is equal to x square so graph of this function is looks like this this is fx and what is the graph of <coughs> y is equal to 1 minus x square by 3 actually it gives 0 at at root 3 because root 3 square is equal to 3 3 by 3 is equal to 1 here and it is symmetrical about x axis and other its value will go down so its graph is simply its maximum value is 1 at 0 is equal to 1 and at root 3 is equal to 0 and minus root 3 is equal to 0 so its graph is looks like these things actually this is the maximum value not so there are two intersecting points which is symmetrical so and tan if we turn tangent at this point or this point then the in at both point first we draw these things okay at this point tangent is this and this point tangent is this for gx uh, for fx tangent looks like this and here tangent looks like this so both here angle if here angle is theta then here also angle is theta so we need not to calculate at both point if we simply calculate at any one point plus root 3 uh, plus x comma y or minus x comma y then this gives out angle between these two curves so uh, purpose of this describing these things is here if we get two points then first we have to draw this picture how the graph is look like then we can estimate how we have to proceed for further example here fx is fx is here we consider fx is y is equal to x square and gx is y is equal to 1 minus x square by 3. So first we differentiate it dy by dx becomes 2x and here dy by dx becomes minus 2x by 3. Okay. Now at x is equal to now at x is equal to because here we need not to put the value of y because in both the term we get only x. So at x is equal to root 3 by 2 dy by dx is 2 and here dy by dx is <coughs> what is the value of dy by dx? dy by dx is equal to uh, sorry here we get root 3 because root 3 by 2 into 2 we get root 3 uh, simply we write these things as here and dy by dx minus 2 by 3 into x is minus root 3 by 2 sorry we put x is equal to root 3 by 2 in both equation so here we get root 3 by 2 we cancel out 2 to 2 we get minus 1 by root 3 okay now we get dy by dx root 3 and dy by dx minus 1 by root 3. This is the slope at on the function fx. This is the slope on the function gx. Let give this name as m1 and this is m2. This means m1 is equal to dy by dx. m2 is equal to minus 1 by 3. Thus angle between thus angle between between tangent at their point of intersection 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 becomes what is the value of the angle because here the, here we look m1 is equal to root 3 m2 is equal to minus 1 by root 3 when we multiply these two things m1 into m2 then we get m1 is equal to m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 and we know when the slope of the two uh, product of the slope of the two lines becomes minus 1 then the angle between these two lines becomes 90 degree uh, similarly we can you can test by putting the value x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 then you saw that the angle between these two lines also 90 degree which we conclude from this which we conclude already from this given picture so this is the method how we find angle between the two curves. First, we have to find the ten, uh, ten equation or uh, slope of the tangent on the, on the first function and slope of the tangent on the other function. Then we have to find angle between these two lines. 
which have slope m1 and m2 then the uh, then the required uh, then which value we get this is the required result which is angle between the curves so thank you